The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a topic that many of us in the SMA community will probably have to address in our foreseeable futures. Not long after Scholar Rock's Phase 3 clinical trial, known as SAPPHIRE, comes to an end, which will probably be within the first two quarters of 2023, those of us with SMA are going to see our treatments dramatically change. Most of us are used to going to our doctors every four months for our maintenance dose injections of Spinraza. And while some of you may be taking of RISD, the potential of Scholar Rock's epidogramab will revolutionize the way that we take our treatments. For those of us that are on Spinraza, we're already used to the normal blood test that they have to take before giving us our injections. Once epidogramab is approved by the FDA, we will now have to receive an IV infusion every four weeks on top of our normal four-month injections of Spinraza. Those of us with SMA typically have very small veins, and phlebotomists typically have a difficult time finding a vein. While they may be able to find a vein to get a blood sample, finding a vein large enough to put an IV in us can be a daunting task. The purpose of this video will be to talk about the pros and cons of pick lines versus ports, and it's a subject that all of us should pay very close attention to. Let's first start by talking about what a pick line and what a port is. What is a pick line? A pick line is inserted into a large vein in the arm by a doctor or a specially trained nurse. A pick line doesn't require surgery to be inserted. After the pick line is in place, a catheter will stick out of your skin on your arm. These are known as tails or lumens. Doctors and nurses can easily access this pick line with a needle. Sometimes, pick lines can be used to draw blood, which makes it easier for the patient if routine blood draws are necessary. And you can have more than one pick line inserted if needed. What is a port? A port is a small drum made of plastic or metal with a rubber seal across the top. At the underside of the drum, a thin tube or line goes from the drum into the vein. Ports are inserted under the skin of your chest. This is also called subcutaneous. Ports have to be surgically implanted by a surgeon or a radiologist. Patients can only have one port. Typically, doctors are unable to use a port to draw blood. With a port, there is no catheter tails or lumens outside of the body. When it's time to use the port, the skin will be numbed with a paralytic cream and a special needle used for ports will be inserted through the skin into the rubber seal. This is called accessing the port. Now, let's look at pick lines versus ports. Both pick lines and ports are used similarly, but there are some differences between them. Pick lines can only stay in for a limited amount of time, several weeks or months. Ports can stay in for much longer periods of time, several years. Pick lines will require special cleaning and flushing on a daily basis. Ports have less maintenance because they are under the skin, but they do require flushing every month to prevent the actual line from clotting. Pick lines should not get wet. During showering, you will need to cover it with a waterproof material and you won't be able to go swimming. With ports, you can bathe and swim normally after the area has completely healed. While I understand that this is a lot of information to try to absorb at once, my goal in this video is to get you thinking about the topic of having a port surgically implanted. I am in no way telling you that this needs to be done, but I am recommending that you start talking to your doctors now and let them advise you as to the pros and cons for your particular needs. Having your blood drawn every four months may not be that big of a topic for many of us, but having to go through an IV infusion every four weeks will make it difficult for those of us with small veins. Once the port is surgically implanted, this will eliminate the phlebotomist or nurse from having to insert a catheter large enough for the IV infusion. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. 
Start speaking to your doctors now about having a port put in your body. That way, whenever a Pitagor map gets approved by the FDA, which I know it will, you'll be ready to go. It's something that I'm going to be speaking to my doctors about as well. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel as well. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified anytime that we produce a new video. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic day. Do me a favor this upcoming week. Do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.